American players here. I'm Josh and this is Lucas. First things first, I just want to say I hope everybody's staying healthy. I hope everybody's staying fit. Um, we're going to help you guys out with that a little bit today. We're going to do a couple of workouts, hopefully hone your basketball skills. And uh, Lucas is going to explain the first thing we're doing today. Hey everyone, I uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, like Josh said, we'll go through a few different things today. Uh, first thing we're going to start off with the stationary ball handling, so uh, let's get started. Okay guys, um, like I said, we're going to start off with some stationary ball handling now. Um, I'll take you through this stuff, um, and I'll show you the number of reps you're going to do. Um, and then once I explain that, you can pause the video, do the number of reps, and then resume it again. And then I'll show you the next thing, if that makes sense. Okay. So let's, I'll uh, start taking you through it. Okay, so I have the ball in your dominant hand. For me, I'm left-handed. Um, so I have the ball in my left hand here. The first thing we're going to do is very basic. We'll just start off here. At about hip height, and with your off arm, you're, you're uh, fending off the defender with your off arm, so you keep this off arm up while you're dribbling like this. Okay, so do 20 of these just like this. Pause the video and I'll get back to you. Okay. Next thing we're going to do, we just had a hip height. Now we're lowering the dribble to right here. So do 20 of those. Pause the video, come back. Next thing we're going to do, bring it back up to the hip height right here. 20 again. It's important here while you're dribbling that you keep your eyes up. That way you become a lot better at dribbling in a shorter amount of time. Okay, next thing, we're switching hands to our weak hand. So for me, that's my right hand. For most of you, it'll probably be your left hand. Same thing, 20 dribbles, hip height, keep your eyes up, your off hand up like this. Do 20 of those, pause the video, come back. Next thing, same thing as the left side, right here. Okay. Then back to your right hand. Put your eyes up. Hand up. Okay. That's it for that. Now we're going to go to crossovers. So for a crossover dribble, just like when we were dribbling here, we don't want to dribble it too hard like this because so it'll get stolen. So we want to keep our eyes up. Eyes right here. Again, we're doing 20. And no dribble in between, so it'll be right here. So this counts as one rep. Back and forth is one. So do 20 reps of those, just like this, with your eyes up, pause the video, come back. Okay, next thing we're going to do, same thing, crossover, but now we're going to add a dribble. Remember not to dribble it high, keep your eyes up. So you're going to dribble right here, cross up, right here, this is one rep right there. Okay, so do 20 of those, pause the video, come back. Okay, now we've done crossovers. Now we're going to keep the ball in our dominant hand again. We're doing in and out. So we're keeping the ball low again, keeping our eyes up. In and out is just right here, so you have the ball right here. Turn the ball back and forth. Okay, not, not up. But down here. So strong hand first, we're doing 20 reps of those. That's one rep. So pause that, do that, come back. Okay, now we're switching to our non-dominant hand. So again, for me, my right hand. Same thing, eyes up, hand out. This one may be a little bit harder. You usually don't dribble as much through the non-dominant hand, but try to get 20 reps in while looking up. Okay, now back into our dominant hand. The first thing we did, we were right here. Now I want to go right here. Okay, same thing, eyes up. This one might be a little bit tough, so it's okay if you don't get it at first. Right so pause the video, do 20 reps of that. Okay, now same thing, weak hand side. This one's a little bit more difficult than what we just did. So again, it may take a while to help the fresher with yourself. So now we're going to do a stance, keeping the ball low. 
So for me, it'd be your dominant foot. For, so for me, that's my left foot. Um, for most of you, it'll probably be your right. But right here, keeping the ball low, looking into the camera, or looking, looking straight ahead. Okay? That's one rep. Okay, so do 20 of those. Pause the video, come back. Okay, now the other leg. Same thing between the legs right here. Do 20 of those. Okay, that was good. Thank you guys for uh, doing the stationary ball handling. Um, it seems basic at first, but if you keep doing this day after day, we get a lot better ball handling and it will really carry over and affect your game. So now I'll take it over to Josh and we'll do some, uh, some more ball handling. Okay guys, so now that Lucas got you guys started with some stationary ball handling, we're going to get into a little bit of movement ball handling. Um, so first things first, we're going to do a little bit of stop and go. So I'm going to run down to that wall. I'm going to take two dribbles. I'm going to stop and protect the ball. And then I'm going to open back up and I'm going to take two more dribbles forward and I'm going to stop and protect the ball, all with my right hand to start. And then after that, we'll do left hand. So this is what it'll look like. So that's my right hand. Once you do that, we'll go to your left hand. Um, once you get that done, you can pause the video and you'll get ready for the next one. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna do crossovers. So similar to what we just did, um, it's just gonna be two dribbles, cross it over to your left hand, take two more dribbles with your left hand, cross it back over to your right hand. So I'll show you what this one looks like. Keep your dribble low, so that way it's a lot harder for the defense to stay in front of you, and it's harder to steal the ball. Um, so then once you get those crossovers done, just do it a couple times through, get the feel for it, get your legs going, get warmed up a little bit. And then uh, once you do the crossovers, we're going to do between the legs. So same thing, you're going to do two dribbles, cross between your legs, two dribbles with your left hand, cross between your legs. I'll show you what this one looks like. Similar thing now with behind the back. You can pause the video, get your between the legs dribbles done. Now we're going to try and do behind the back. One thing I want you guys to note is please don't get frustrated if you guys are having a hard time with the between the legs and behind the back. These are pretty uh, advanced moves, so once you guys get really good, it'll be a lot easier. The more you practice, the better you'll get at it. So now we're doing behind the back. I'll show you what it looks like. We're going to do the same thing two dribbles behind the back, two dribbles with your left hand behind the back. I'll show you what it looks like now. So, you guys can do it as many times through as you want until you feel comfortable. Um, if you have a core that you can practice on, maybe just go a couple full lengths of the core back and forth. I know you only see me do it about three times. Um, but you want, you're going to want to do it more times than that to practice and get really good at it. So uh, maybe do it a couple times through, however many times it takes you guys to feel comfortable. 